Hi, everyone. Apologize for the delay on getting started. We were having some technical difficulties on the back end. Um, I am here today with John Chumley, affectionately known as Chum here at Backtech. He's one of our project leads on our R&D team. And today he's going to be just taking a quick walkthrough through navigating PDFs and also talking about um, linking versus embedding PDFs. And without further ado, Shum, I'm going to hand it over to you. All right, thanks, Melissa. Let me get, uh, get my screen sharing here. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so welcome, um, just wanna kinda quickly go over navigating through uh, large PDFs um, within Estimator when you're in takeoff view. Um, as you can see here, I've uh, loaded up a PDF. It's not particularly large, but it's large enough for our demonstration purposes here today. You'll notice if you look up on the, on the top left, um, you'll see that we have, page, we're on page one of 60. Um, we do offer navigation buttons, so you can quickly just click next, previous to jump around. We also have um, shortcut keys available, so if I just hit my right arrow, I know you can't see me clicking my right arrow, but I did click it. Um, you, you'll see we're, we're able to jump through the pages uh, just using the, the keyboard navigation. We also offer a jump to page. So here where we have four of 60, if you actually click in there, you can put it what page you want to go to. So I can quickly type in 10 and we'll just jump to page 10. And so now we're on page 10 of 60. Now, a lot of times we get these PDFs and they have extra pages that don't really mean anything to us uh, for doing takeoff we actually have the ability to hide those pages so you don't have to go through them now. Page 10, of course, we would probably want to see in uh, our work, but I'm gonna go ahead and just hide this page. So you'll notice when I hide the page, we go to page 11. If I go back, navigate back, you'll notice I've gone to page nine. So page 10 is actually no longer pulled up as we navigate through our PDF. Now you can, go to jump to it. So if you go to jump to page 10, like we did earlier, it's going to pop up and tell you, hey, this page has been hidden. Would you like to unhide the page and continue? Say yes, it'll come back. Um, no, it will not do the navigation you you pick. If you want to bring those pages back in, you could either say yes um, on that dialog, or you can actually go into unhide pages, and that allows you to see a list of the pages you've hidden um, along with a preview of that page and you can just say okay i would like to unhide that page now if we come back if we step to the next page we're now stopping on page 10. so those are the you know the ability to be able to navigate through the pdf jump from one page to the next and quickly jump to um, the page you're looking for so the page you want to work on uh, I also want to cover the idea of linking the PDF versus embedding the PDF. So over under the load menu, if you go down to the bottom where you have PDF and images, you'll notice this manage PDF and images. And when you bring it up, it's going to let you see um, what the file name is, what the file size is, and there's this little checkbox for embed. So the difference between embedding and linking. So if you're linking the PDF, you have it somewhere on a file system, whether it's a network share, um, somewhere on your local hard drive. When you do that, the path to that PDF is stored um, within the estimate so that when you go to reopen it, it will go and look on that path to find it. The idea of embedding will actually take that entire PDF and save it in the estimate 
itself. So just kind of a, a quick demonstration of what this means. So if I, I'm going to go ahead and unload this and then I'm going to go to my file system and let's see, estimator, if I look in my drawings folder, so this is the sample drawing set. I'm just going to change the name. I'm basically going to invalidate um, that file path that we have inside of estimator. Now, when I say to load, you'll notice it wants to load the sample drawing set. If I select that, it says, oh, I can't find it. It may have been moved. Do you want to locate the file? At this point, I can. So I can say, yes, I want to locate the file. Look in the QTO document, my drawings folder, and I can locate it by the new name. And it will go ahead and bring it in. The idea of embedding, so I'm going to come now and I am going to manage my PF and images and I'm going to embed this PDF inside of my estimate. So now, once again, I'm going to unload my takeoff, go back to my file. Invalidate the name so uh, you know it's, it doesn't have the same path. Last time it would have asked us to locate that file. Now, when I go to pull it up, because it's actually the actual PDF itself is saved inside of the estimate, you can see it finds it and pulls it up. So one of the drawbacks of embedding when you embed this PDF, we're having to we're having to save that entire PDF with the estimate. So it will make your estimate file much larger, um, as well as if, if it's saving to the database. We've seen, you know, we've seen a lot of the drawing sets exceed a gig of data. Um, so pushing all of that data into a database and, and pulling it back out can also, um, you know, your DBAs won't be happy that you're taking up that, that additional space um, and, and performance wise, trying to pull all that back and reassemble it. Um, but it, is an option that you can use to be able to share these from one estimator to the other without having to pass the large files around uh, and manage it that way. So uh, I hope you learned a little something today and uh, you can use this going forward. Thank you much. Awesome, great, thank you, Chum. Um, so now we'll just take a brief amount of time to go over some questions from the audience. And the first one that we have here is, so drawings don't always come with bookmarks um, and we have to add our own bookmarks. Will mm -hmm. estimators see the bookmarks that we add? Yeah, so, um, and that's a, that's a great point on the, the bookmark by navigation as well. So if you, if you receive a, a large PDF and it comes in and it doesn't actually have bookmarks in them, we do support the bookmarks. So in this case, I have bookmarks within, um, within the PDF and can quickly, you know, just select a bookmark and jump to that page. Um, if you receive the set of documents without that and you use something like Adobe or Bluebeam or something to add bookmarks um, to the PDF, when you open it, you will be able to actually use Estimator to step through the bookmarks and navigate um, that way as opposed to even having to do next previous page or jump to a specific page. You can use the, the bookmarks to navigate from one page to the next. Awesome. Great. That's really good information to know. Um, the second question that we have here is, can I choose not to embed my drawing, even if the estimate is saved in the database? Yeah, so the option to embed is, it, is always just that, an option. Um, even when you're using the database, like I'd mentioned, kind of one of the, the downsides is actually uploading and saving that in the database and taking up that space. So um, if you have, you know, a network share or, um, you know, a, a specific place that all your documents are kept and that's the, the master uh, location for those, you can always link to them and you, embedding is not required whether you're on database or files or either one. Perfect. Okay, thank you so much, Chum, for taking the time to answer the questions and walk through that feature with us. Uh, to everyone who's on the line, I do want to encourage you 
to register for our webinar uh, next week, Estimating Life, also on Wednesday at uh, 10 a.m. CST. Um, you'll be receiving a recording of this webinar as well as an invite to the one next week once we are done here. Um, thank you again, everyone, to coming, and we will see you next week. Thank you.